Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today we'll be talking about the Gold Shell Mini Dogecoin Litecoin Miner after 30 days. So today I'll share with you just how they are performing. I'll let you know how much you can earn with one or two or three different mini Dogecoin miners. And I will be having a fourth one coming pretty soon. So I'll be able to show you how those are doing as well. But honestly, the math is super simple. If you have one, two, or three, very easy to figure it out. So as you've seen from earlier, you saw my APW7, that is my power supply powering all these miners. And I am able to add a few more to this without overpowering. But I also have my D-Link switcher. So this way it's simple and easy to expand anytime you get a new miner. So let's take a look over at my F2 pool. You can see that I have three of them going and they're all listed with worker one, worker two, worker three. Now, if you're looking for a video to get these things installed, hooked up, make sure that they're in the correct pool, make sure that they're all listed correctly with different worker names. I'll place a link below the video inside the description. It's gonna take you to a video just showing you everything you need to know about hooking these things up. It's actually very, very simple. So uh, we're taking a look at F2 pool here on the phone. I'm not not using the application because the website version actually gives you more details more specifically not only what you've earned in litecoin but as well as doge because this is the script algorithm even though you are mining litecoin it gives you dogecoin as bonus and as the bonuses are usually paid out they're always higher than what you're normally mining so right now you can see we're inside of f2 pool underneath litecoin we were taking a look at this page here that's called workers now we're going to head over into revenue and after i show you how it's done with revenue. I'm also going to show you the deposits being put into BlockFi as well as my other Binance US account. Now what I love the most about these machines is that they are so small. They are compact. They're quiet. They don't really take up a lot of electricity. I haven't even seen a change in electric bill. Even with having five of these running, I have two Kadenas and three of the mini Dogecoin miners. When you compare that versus a regular ASIC miner that is large, that is over 1800 watts, 2200 watts, uh, you know, 3400 watts by itself, completely loud, changing the temperature and humidity of the room, changing your electric bill by hundreds of dollars. You know, these are a really good place to start and I will be placing the link for the mini Dogecoin miner uh, below the video inside the description if you guys are curious if you're interested if you want somewhere to start and so what you can see here the total revenue as of owning all of these machines going from one to two to three after 30 days I've earned 0.33 Litecoin uh, and then right over here just tells you how much you have you know estimatedly earned and because it's after 7 p.m. at least my time here Central Standard Time at 7 p.m. is 8 a.m. in China and basically that is when the new day starts so you can see that it's a brand new day uh, and it's going to show us how much we've earned for the day previous so right over here yeah, you can see on the 28th, we've earned 0 0.014 Litecoin. The day before that, 0 0.014, 0 0.014, 0 0.014. So it's very, very, very consistent. And this is with three miners. So if you own one miner, you'll be earning basically 0 0.005 or really close to 0 0.005 Litecoin and then nine Doge. If you have two of them, that means you're about to earn very close to 0 0.010 and then that would be about 18 Doge. And if you own three of them, you can see here really close to that 0 0.015, but we're right at that 0 0.014 and then basically 27 doge. So as you can go down, you can see we did hit that 0 0.015 quite a few times. And then if you scroll down to where the doge is at, you can see that we're getting 27, 28, 28, 26, 25, 29, 28, uh, 29, 27. So really you're gonna average right around nine doge a day per each device. So nine plus nine plus nine is getting us basically right in this, this area here for the Doge. And then again, 0 0.005 per each machine. So I have three of them. So there is that 0 0.015. And it really just depends on the difficulty of the day. And so sometimes difficulty for mining will change either daily or it can change weekly. A lot of it uh, you know, is set up either on a seven day or 21 day schedule. Sometimes it, it alters a little bit quicker. So here is the records, here is the revenue of Litecoin and Dogecoin. So now let's head over into 
uh, the actual deposits into both of my accounts. So we'll be heading inside of the gallery. I took a screenshot of not only just the Doge deposits, but as well as the Litecoin deposits. And I'm just gonna stay at this point in the video. If you guys are brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo and you appreciate this information about mining cryptocurrency, the mini Dogecoin miner, uh, even if you're into Samsung, anything like that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. So here are all of the deposits. This is just a screenshot, just so I could just have one little screen here, make it super quick. It's actually really, really, really hot outside, over 100 degrees. Turned off the air conditioning to shoot this video, so I don't want it to take too long. That's why it's a pretty short video. So you can see back here, what happens when you get paid out is that it is in the, uh, the threshold of Litecoin. So once the moment you hit 0 0.02 Litecoin, that is when you get deposited your Litecoin and Dogecoin. Now, it then it just depends on how many days it takes. So down here, you can see that it was the second going to the sixth, and then it was from the sixth to the ninth to the 12th. So basically back here and even below, uh, it would take four days to hit the threshold of 0 0.02 Litecoin. Because as we said from before, you're getting 0 0.005 Litecoin every single day when you have one miner. So it usually takes four days for the threshold to be hit before you are paid out. You always get paid out Litecoin first, then Dogecoin comes right after that. So here it was, it was four days. Then after I got another miner, it only took three days. And you can see that we were still three days all the way up until here. Then I had my, my, my third miner. And so now it was only two days two days, two days, two days, two days. And so when you're taking a look at the screen here, it's just, you know, basically a little over a hundred, 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 uh, not quite the hundred there, uh, but then it would have been a hundred again as well. So really every couple days is when I get uh, the, the deposit. So that means every four days, I'm getting myself uh, basically a hundred doge. Then when you take a look at Litecoin, you can see again that this was, um, you can't really see the, the dates before this where it was taken four days or three days, but you can see two days, two days, two days, two, 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 two. Uh, this one right here was actually a extra payment. This one was just taken out uh, just a few hours ago. They noticed that they paid me twice the exact same amount. So it was corrected and taken off. But anyways, you can see 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02. Here's the 0 0.03, 0 0.03. So these numbers here, the 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, basically 0 0.03. This is after you're owning three machines and that is what you get paid out. So every two days, with three machines, you get 0 0.03. So really it's all gonna be about the math on how many machines you have. And really I love these machines, they're super small. They're actually pretty quiet. They don't jack up your, your electrical bill and they also don't change the temperature of your room. They do a really good job, especially if you don't wanna have big, large machines that you know is just really taken up space and also shooting up your electric bill, uh, changing the temperature of the room that it's sitting in. It's just pretty crazy. But you know, I'm pretty excited for these little machines. These are perfect for anybody to begin. This is perfect for anybody who wants to have a little hobby. This is perfect for anybody who wants to put it into their house or office because they're, they're pretty discreet. They're small and they don't make a lot of noise, but they do make you some money. But I hope you guys appreciated this video, trying to keep it short. Uh, it is very, very hot. But other than that, if you guys appreciate this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.